guys welcome to another very special video here we are at the Imola circuit Enzo e Gino Ferrari circuit at Italy and today I am going to teach you how to be fast at this track with the GT3 cars so if you uh, saw our videos at Monza and Spa Shop, this is video is very similar we, uh, we want to show to you which is the better driving line the braking points, reacceleration points, gears, but uh, this is a baseline tutorial. Okay, I'm using at this lesson the race room and also the Acero Corsa, but is able to you Air Factor 2, I racing Acero Corsa for his cars 2, and any other sim racing that you use. But uh, the physics are a little bit different, the setups to the track conditions, so. This is a baseline, you can make a very different time, okay? Uh, it depends from the sim racing that you are playing. So, and also if you want to have access to more specific content, the Driving Academy has a lot of content able to guys who want to know how to be quick in a specific car. Like, uh, if you want to be quick with a GT3 car like the Audi R8, which is the car I'm using at this tutorial, you can go there and download our, se our setups. You can also check our telemetries. You can see our strategies, and uh, you can watch lap guide videos. Uh, you know what is the world record, what time we done, and uh, you have a very good setup in your hands. And you also have access to a lot of uh, video lessons. Okay, teaching how to build setups, how to drive quicker, and also how to make good strategies and read telemetry okay so here we go so the first straight full throttle we're starting in the race room the first corner it is a two step chicane okay uh, medium speed so here is the braking point let me go to the outside camera the chase camera here we have to pay attention in the braking points so let me put in a. Oh, let me back a little bit quicker. Here, as you can see, I'm going to the outside, going as close as I can to this limit. And when I get there, I start to go to the left side, going over the curbs, and then going over the curbs again, then reaccelerating the car. Give me the car as at the middle as I can. I went a little bit to the left. Now doing the, the, the next corner. Okay. So let's back and see this on board the action. And then I will teach you how to do this. Okay, so let's back. So, the first thing about this corner is the gear. Uh, I'm using third gear in any simulators, okay? Always using uh, third gear, as you can see, okay? So, you have to brake at this point, let me go to the chase camera you have there 100 meters plate so you break there 100 meters to the breaking point and you have to make a breaking going to the out to the inside uh, to the right side sorry going as close as you can with the front right wheels to the white track limit so uh, doing this this is the breaking line okay follow like this Reduce it to the third gear. When you get the third gear and you get here, you can start to releasing the pedals, the brake, uh, the brake pedals, and turning the wheel to the left. So let me put that on board. Here. So third gear, then you start to turn the wheel. You have to clip the curb, as I'm doing here, back into the chase camera, clipping here. 
uh, we have these anti cuts, you have to avoid them, okay? If the sim racing you are playing doesn't have an end cut, you can hit and uh, go over using all the curb able, okay? So, this isn't the case in the race room sim. And then here, you'll need to pay attention, because we don't have uh, pedal graphs in the race room, it's a problem to teach, but uh, I want to use all the simulators that I know to show to you which is uh, the same technique I'm using in any of them. Okay, so uh, we don't have the brick graph here, but if you want to know how I did this lap in the race room, I have this lap with pedal graph in my in the Darwin Academies. Okay, and uh, I have the same lap with the racing and the uh, uh, Acero Corsa, and also I'm doing the Perfect Cars 2 lap. So at this point, let's back to the cockpit camera. We have to restart acceleration, okay? So here we restart the accelerating, and I have to release a half of the pedal and clip this curb to the right side. And then we release that, you can go full on the gas. It needs to be very careful in this part because the car uh, wants to, to oversteer, okay? So as you can see here, when you clip here and re accelerate the car, you have some oversteer. And uh, you have to try to keep the car as to the right as you can, okay? Because doing that, you have more speed to this part, okay? So, that's the secret here. And at this moment, you are using full throttle on the gas. There is no, no secret here. Here, you can hit the curbs, okay? If you feel you can't make that full throttle, you have to hit the curbs. If you, uh, you are more to the right side, you don't have to hit them, okay? So, uh, there is no difference, doing or not. And uh, a good signal that you did the corner right is putting the car at this point. If you're not hitting this part, okay, you're making uh, too late reacceleration, and that's a problem. You can last uh, more than a half second. So then, we're going to the second chicane, okay, it's a faster one. Here, uh, it depends the sim racing you are using, okay, because some cars has the, the gear ratio is shorter, okay, so then you have, uh, you have to use the, the fifth gear, but here I'm not in using the fifth gear, I'm revving up to the limit of the fourth gear, and then uh, I, I break the car, so that's it. Okay, so we, we choose the technique here. We have a reference, the 50 meters plate. Okay, when you, when you get close to the 50 meters plate, you break the car, and we have to use a lot of throw brake at this part. You can go full on the brake pedal, you can use a half of them, okay, and uh, make the curve, we need a lot of precision here, you have to turn the wheel at the right moment. If you make it a little, uh, one second four or one second later, you have problems. So you have to, to practice the right moment to turn the wheel, and you have to turn the wheel just one time using the correct degrees, okay? So uh, I will show you the onboard action, but first we have to talk about the, the driving line. So we have to hit here, uh, the race room has these end cuts, but at this part they are not. Uh, uh, we don't have to struggle with them. It's easy to to pass and and, and quit them. Okay. And the second part, when you you pass over and you and you left the the first curb, you have to break the car and reduce the third gear. And you don't have to keep the car to the left. You have to cross going to there. Okay. This is the line, so you don't have to back to the left, okay? The S to the right as you can. Third gear, using the curves again, and when you release here, this part, you can go full on the gas. Maybe you have to be careful, it depends from your traction control uh, level. Okay, this car has traction control and your setup. So full throttle, you have to use all this track able, okay? If you're not hitting this curb, uh, that means you're not doing the right moment reacceleration, so we have to practice that a little more. So let's back and see the onward action. 
okay here we are onwards go so trail braking for gear over the curves for gear over the curves full throttle over the curves so that's the secret and then we're going to the second sector okay so let's back to the chase camera here with this car specifically i'm not using the, fir the fourth gear here i'm using the i'm driving to the limit with the third but uh, it depends from your gear radio maybe you have to use the second gear here okay uh as i'm, I'm using but uh in the back in the end of this corner when i'm accelerating uh, i don't have i don't changing uh, shifting up to the, the fourth gear i still using the third uh, because i have to reduce less gears so let's check let's back to the onboard uh, ah just a second we have to talk about the the driving line so here you have to go as close as you can to the white line the track limit 50 meters plate then reduce second gear and here is when you turn this car this curve has a little bit a uh, little bit different uh, you have to make the turn a little bit later you don't have to go so uh, so earlier to the to the inside part so that's the right moment when you turn okay and you turn you go as close as you can to the curbs and you start to reaccelerate the car using all the curbs in the track exit okay so let's see the onboard action So here we are, 50 meters, braking, second gear, you turn the wheel, uh, that's the point here, you have to select uh, how much degrees do you want to, to steer, and that's it, you have to steer that that degrees of uh, rotation, and then you recenter the wheel, uh, you don't have to make more movies, okay, so as you can see, I'm keeping that movement, okay. And then a race center. Just three steps. Center the wheel before the curve. Wheel with the wheel, the degrees done, and then recenter the wheel. Okay. So that's the three points of this curve. So now we are going to the second sector. Here. Uh, another quick uh, curve, you have to use some trail braking here. Uh, I'm using the, the third gear and I use it in all the simulators because at this point the, it, it was the better one and I did the, the same gear in the racing, Ciro Corsa and race room. Okay, so uh, it's probably third gear in all the sims. You have to brake a little bit later the 50 meters plate. So I will, I'm going to use the chase camera. So we have the 50 meters there. We pass a little bit, 10 meters. Then a brake, reduce the third gear. You have to use this, this curves, okay? Uh, you don't have to be too much aggressive here. Just two wheels are enough. Passing there, you have to accelerate the car on full throttle, and uh, you have to use this track. But you don't have to use a lot of it because that uh, the extra track here you still turning the wheel so if you go over the the extra track maybe you can have problems and some games are, are doing uh off track here like racing room is doing off track a racing bus the same so you have to avoid them just this is enough okay so now i'm going back to see the onward action so let's back here go third gear some over steering and the downhill so that's it for our tutorial uh, in the racing room part now we're going to the Ciro Corsa so here we're back to the second part making the downhill now we have the the, uh, the pedals graph first part just soft touching and the braking okay for a half a second and then releasing the pedal here you have to hit the curbs chase camera as you can see here and, and immediately after passing over the curb you have to brake in the car using 70 or 65 percent it depends from your setup the ABS settings and uh, that kind of thing releasing uh, starting to use the brakes okay reducing to the second gear you have to go as to the left as you can but you don't have to hit the curbs you don't have to, you don't have to go over them okay 
this is a good uh, position. Second gear, when you put the second gear, it's more or less when the curve ends. Second gear, you start to turn the wheel. Here, you don't have to be very aggressive. Okay, just uh, clipping the, the curves with the right inside the wheels. And immediately passing there, you have to restart accelerating the car, paying attention to the oversteer possibility, and using all the strike possible. Here, you have to pay attention because some sim simulators uh, will give you an off track or cut track so you have to practice there and see what is the limit the track limit what is the rule that they, they set here so at a set of course you can use all the track here there is no no uh, penalty but uh, i know that racing room does uh, penalty i racing too so you have to test so now i'm going to show you the onboard action and we're going to the third sector so the onboards here Release the pedal, second gear, that's it. So, now we have the chicane, okay, this track has three chicanes, uh, and I'm, I'm doing a, a different driving way here, driving style, which is using the, uh, reducing the car a little bit further, okay, uh, sorry, a little bit earlier, because I'm, I'm this is a very, very, uh, it's almost a 9 degree chicane, so I'm, I'm crossing and passing over the curbs. So that's it. I'm braking in the 100 meters plate. Okay, I'm going to use the chase camera here. Reduce to the third gear at the, the first part. Hitting the curbs with the inside wheels. Keeping the outside wheels at the track. Okay. And then reducing to the second gear and passing over the second part. I'm being a little bit more aggressive here. You have to pay attention to the end cuts. And immediately passing there, I'm restarting the car using the, the track exit. So here, some guys normally try to brake more close to the 50 meters plate. But when you do that, you carry too much speed to the first part of the chicane. And uh, that's a problem, okay, you have to reduce the second gear. So I prefer to reduce the second gear in the second part of the chicane. So as I'm doing here, that's it. I could reduce the second gear here, but uh, I would uh, I would lost more speed. Okay, so that's my driving style. So let's check the, the onboard action. Here you can use the uh, all the brake pressure, okay. You just have to release the, the, the brakes when you are getting close. And it's starting to turn the wheel, okay. And here you have to brake again, just a half the brakes, just to keep the car speed. And that's it. You can start accelerating the car. You have to be progressive on the throttle, uh, or if you have a great level of intervention in your traction control, you can go full throttle. Okay. So let's see the onboard actions. Third gear, touching the curves, touching also, and that's it. A good signal to see if you've done a uh, good acceleration is your position in the in that point, that part. You have to see two wheels on the the curbs or extra track. The Astro Corsa doesn't have any curb here. The racer room has a racing two, so you have to to see what is the limit and two wheels on the track. Okay. So we're going to the to the, la the last parts of the track. You have the last two corners, uh, and if you if you don't if you make a mistake in the first part, you lost time to to the second part. So you have to to be very precise at this moment. So let's back to the onboard camera. And that's it. I'm breaking here uh, a little bit further the the 100 meter plate. And we're just into the third gear. Some guys are using the second gear, but they, if you make the right uh, driving style, the third gear looks better. Okay, because with second gear, uh, when you start to restart the car, you can have some oversteering. And when when you reduce the second gear, you have to you you have uh, uh, too much reducing. Okay, the engine brake works very well, so that's a, uh, you don't want that. Uh, so third gear here. You have to be very, very aggressive on the brakes here. Full brakes, okay. And then 
uh, getting close to the to the apex, you have to start to release the the pedal. So that's it. Here you have to hit the curbs. Okay, being aggressive here, you can use all your car. And here you have to also be very aggressive using all the track able. You won't get any penalty here. Okay. And then here you just have to release the pedals. Being aggressive here also. Been very aggressive here. Okay, that's that's a uh, part of the track you have to be very aggressive and use all the track able to gain the, the biggest time at the the bigger time you can. So let's see the onboard action. Third gear. Ah, when you are making the the entry, you can use the outside curve. Okay, you can clean there. Uh, and that's it. Third gear foot on the, the throttle and foot on the throttle again so that's it you done a lap at the Imola circuit I love this track uh, one of the best uh, one of the greatest greatest and uh, hope to, to see you on the top of the podium just remember again remembering again if you want to have more content if you want to learn how to build your, your setups if you want to learn how to drive quick in any car, any track, any sim, join the Driving Academy. Uh, there you have video lessons where I teach you how to make the setups, uh, how to change the camera settings, the wing settings uh, to the car that you're driving. And we also have uh, specific content like uh, setups. We have a lot of setups to a lot of cars. Okay, so if you want to make, for example, GT3 cars, there are uh, thousands of setups that you can download, put in your car and go to track. Okay, we done that setup thinking on the drivers. Isn't a setup done to me? So I know uh, what is the possibilities with that setups. Okay, and uh, you have also the lap guides. You have also the, the telemetries, and you have support. You can send your 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 questions. You can make quotes. So uh, it's a very nice group. You have another another guys, and also have. The options to do coaching sessions. If you want that I see you driving and, and fix your mistakes, you can request coaching sessions and uh, we go to the track privately or in a group, and there you can uh, I can help you and you can make some exercises to get uh, improve very quicker your performance. So that's it for today, guys. Hope to help you and we see on the track.